Okay, yeah, good evening. Good evening, guys. Can you guys hear me? Cassie, can you hear me? Cassie, can you hear me? Cassie, can you hear me? Okay, I don't know whether you can hear me. But if you can hear me, let me see. Okay. Yeah. If you can hear me, let me see you say yes in the chat box. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So we are back here today on another episode. And uh, today we are going to be talking about how you can get crazy, crazy traffic, buying leads from. Twitter, sorry, from Google, from Google Ads. So how you can get people who would literally beg you to take their money while running Google Ads. All right, so we are going to ha be having Cassie, Cassie Moby is going to be our speaker for tonight. So, but before I bring, bring up Cassie, I want to use this opportunity to welcome everyone who is presently here this night. So, and uh, for those of you who are just joining us for the first time, this is actually 
what we do every Wednesday, 7 p.m. to like 10, 9 p.m., like two hours. And what we actually devote the two hours to do is to take you to a step-by-step -step process of how you can practically improve your affiliate marketing business. I know the idea you're going to get from here this night can actually be used for your personal businesses, your projects, product, and all of that. All right, so if you're game, this class is going to last for two hours. And uh, Cassie, I believe, will be showing us how he put up his own Google Ads. Now, before I, bo I bring up Cassie again, Cassie is actually a top affiliate who has been doing great numbers, great numbers on the platform. I would not like to mention his numbers because some people don't like, some people do not like having uh, their numbers. Like, so we don't like, so we just want to remain low key, okay? So Cassie has been doing so well, fantastically well on the platform. So um, it was on our, on the last trip to Qatar, all uh, the all expense paid to Qatar, and uh, so we somehow got talking, and I figured out that Cassie has been the one running this ad himself, and he uses Instagram ads. So I felt okay. Why not just bring this guy up so that he can come and show us his his strategy, the 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 the, the secrets behind Google ads. So that is why. Cassie will be coming this, this night to you know, show us how he does his things on Google Ads. So, Cassie, are you there? Uh, a minute, guys. Let me try and get Cassie on the, on the phone. I think he's actually here, but he's not responding. Uh, Cassie, can you hear me? Please, if you can hear me, can you respond, please? Cassie, if you can hear me, I can't hear you. You may need to, like... Uh, Maybe check your um check your network or maybe you know just you, if you're using a PC, if you're using, if you're using a laptop, just connect directly. You don't have to be using, you don't have to use an airpiece or headset, just connect directly. I think that would help. Okay, guys, a minute, please. I think Cassie is having a bit of a net, uh, network issue from his end, but we are trying, he's trying to resolve it. Okay, okay, I hope I believe he's going to be here in the next uh, two, three minutes. Okay.
Okay, guys, we are still here with you guys. Cass is trying to refresh his network and come up, okay? The thing is that you can actually hear me, but I can't hear him. I don't know whether I'm the only one who cannot hear him, but I cannot hear Cassie and he's trying to speak. So he's trying to, you know, change his network and come back up. All right, so please just hold on, please. Uh, Cassie, can you hear me? Okay, wait, I, I need to unmute you. I'm trying to unmute you. Just hold on. Yeah, hey, speak now. Can you hear me? Uh, Cassie, I, I actually cannot hear you. Sincerely speaking, I can't hear you. C can any other person hear Cassie? No other person can hear you. Yeah, I um, I muted everyone, but I have unmuted him, just him alone. So he, if he speaks, I should be able to hear him. A minute, please. Hello, Cassie. I, we can't hear you at all. Tonight, I don't know what's up. I'm speaking, but the same thing guys can't hear me. Is it that? Is this your first time of using this your PC for for Zoom? You use yesterday for Zoom. On Zoom. No, it wasn't on Zoom. This one was on StreamYard. Yeah. Uh, okay, what can we do now? What can we do now? Um, can you start your PC and 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 start again? Or oh, can you join? Hello. Hello. I, I can hear you. Or oh, can you join it? Can you join this this thing with your phone? So you have your phone beside you. You speak from your phone and you project from your laptop. Uh, how do I get to the, the link I sent you now basically you are you are you are up you are up on your on your laptop now, bro. Now that same link I sent you on your WhatsApp. Uh, 
They also need to open it on your phone. Do you understand? So like basically you are coming online on your phone and on your PC. So I'm just going to make the PC the admin so that you can project your screen. Then I'm going to now unmute your phone so that you can so that when you speak from your phone, you can hear you. Then from your PC, you can see what you are doing. Is that fine? Yeah, let's try that out. Can Hello, speak? can you hear me now? Yay, hey, wonderful. Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you from your phone. Okay. okay. I need to mute your PC. Just hold on. That's why it is crazy. That's why it is echoing. Can you speak again now? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I think the issue is from your it's from your PC. You can need to okay. Let us go with this. I'm just going to try to manage this, okay? All right. So let me make you the admin. Or let me allow you to share your screen. So you can share your screen. Can you I can still, I can still share the screen here too. From the laptop, he's saying um, host disabled participant screen sharing. Yeah, so you have to like allow me. Can you do that now? Let me try again. So let me stop sharing so that you can share. He's still saying the same thing. So I have, yeah, go, do it again. I'll I just stop sharing now. Wow. Finally, we are here. Okay. Can you see it now? I can see your screen there. Yeah. Okay, very good. So can I start now? Yes, sir. Okay, um, good, good evening, guys. Um, this is me. So I'm here to take you on how you can run a profitable um, Google ad. Uh, Cassie, Most important. you may need to come a bit closer to your mouthpiece, your phone mouth, because since you're speaking from afar, do you understand? Okay, like, I, don't yeah, know I understand. Before. Can you guys hear me now? Uh, still not very clear. Ah, okay. Mm. Now, can you can you hear me now? Ah, uh, it's manageable. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll try I'll try my best to increase my volume. So I'm going to take you guys to um how to run a profitable um Google ad. 
So when it comes to um, Google Ad, Google Ad is more profitable because this time around, you're not doing um, disruptive marketing, just like Facebook and Instagram. This time around, you're targeting the right people who are interested in what you are selling. So when it comes to Google Ad, we have the search ad and we have the um, video ad. So let me walk you guys through. Please, if you can see my um, screen, let me know, please. Can anyone see my screen? So yeah, can you see my screen? I can see your screen, but it is still blank, white. So it's not supposed. To... Let me. You know what? Can you see anything now? Are you seeing anything? Okay, okay. I think other people can see you. Well, you can just go on. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, we can see. So, um, first of all, before you start your Google ad, you have to create an ad account, just like Facebook. When you log into business.facebook.com, you create an um, ad account. The same thing with Google. You go to ad.google.com. You understand? You create an ad account. You sign up. If you if, if you have not signed up before, you sign up with your Gmail. It's not it's not that complicated. Once you sign up, you will see something like this. You might not see something like this if you're using a phone to do it. You might see professional mood. You might see expert mood. So make sure you switch it to professional mood. I advise make sure you switch to professional mood if you want to run a profitable um, ad account. So let me sign into my ad account. So this is my ad account. And currently, if, if, if you're running an ad, own ad account shouldn't look like this. But it's because I've been using this particular ad account um, to run ads. So what you're going to see, you're going to see something like this. Let me show you. This is something, this is where you're going to get yourself to. I don't know if, if anyone is following. Can you see my screen, please? Can you see my screen? Is there anyone there? Yes, yeah, I can see your screen. See, whenever you ask that question, you know, because I need to mute myself so that my bag, my, my noise here does not affect you. So whenever you ask that question, just check, just check the chats, the chat box. People will respond via chat because you are the only person who is speaking. Like every other person is muted. Okay. So, um, like I said, I hope you guys know how we got here. Let me, let me, you have been running ad before. All you need to do is go to new campaign. You see, um, you see this objective now, just like, um, Facebook, Facebook, we ask you, what is your objective? Whether you want to run lead conversion, website traffic, um, um, website visits. The same thing with um, when it comes to Google ad. They are going to ask you, what is your objective? And you can see this objective. You can see one here, sales. You can see leads. You can see website traffic. You can see product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach, app promotion, local store visits and promotion, and create campaign without a goal guidance. So I'm going to um, explain this bit by bit so you know the one that is very profitable for you so i do advise people when it comes to google ad the best ad to run is the video ad the video ad can be called the youtube ad this video ad can be called a youtube ad why this um, um uh, at this era we are the video ad is very 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 uh, uh, like it, it converts a lot people convert with video a lot and these have tried a lot so if you know how to run a video ad which is the youtube ad you're going to make lots of money especially if you are selling a digital product especially if you're selling a digital product because we are still way back that we don't believe in digital products so you need to use every tool you have to sell this thing effectively you don't you don't want to gamble it you want to do what works so all you need to do is 
go to um you can use lead either you use this one the second one which is leads and pro, um, and proceed or you use create a campaign without go guidance these are the two i advise you to use so let's um move on you go to create a campaign without a go guidance under this create a campaign without a go guidance you can see search performance marks display shopping video app smart and discovery so this video you're seeing here is actually that youtube ad the youtube ad it can come in form of display and it can also be showing in, in such engine uh, uh, um, section if you run this video ad very well you're going to like you're going to be hitting the the the, the top because you can be targeting YouTube at the same time. You can be targeting the display at the same time, and you can be targeting the search at the same time. Though here is the issue: it is very, very expensive, very, very expensive. You cannot compare um, because here on YouTube, are you're spending with dollar? You're spending on dollar. You're not spending in naira. So let's go to to video. And on video, you can see you have custom video campaign. We have target frequency. We have non-skippable in-stream ad. We have drive conversion ad sequence, and we have audio. So let me let me show you guys something. So the best way to sell with YouTube ad is from your Google ad to your landing page. On your landing page, you can have opt-in and from your landing page to your thank you page and from your thank you page to your affiliate um, offer page. Now on your, on your thank you page, you can have your offers there. So all you need to do, we have, we have, we have so many types of ty uh, um, YouTube ad. We have the in-stream ad, we have the discovery and we have the in video overlay ad, and we have the outstream ad. <laughs> Let me show you guys an example of what I mean so you understand better. Okay, I want I want to go to YouTube. So if you, if you go to YouTube, this is v, uh, um, YouTube now. Now, if you go to, um, let's pick one video. Let's just pick one video. This particular ad you're seeing here is what we call the in-stream ad. It, the in-stream ad is always like uh, um, the best way to do it is zero point, let's say 0 0.13, 0 0.15, or 0 0.30. It shouldn't be more than 0 0.30. Now, this in-stream ad, it, you can place it before the video, the main video starts, or in between, or at the ending of the video. This in-stream ad is very, very powerful. It's currently what I'm using. Is very, very powerful, especially if you're not using an animation video. If you're using, like, if you're actually showing yourself a live camera video of yourself talking, it is very, very effective. So, but we're going to get there. I just want to show you the type of um, YouTube ads we have. Another type of YouTube ad we have is discovery ad. Discovery ad, let's, let's say, for example, you want to search for, um, let me, You want to search for, well, what are we searching? Okay, let's search for toothpaste. Toothpaste. So this is actually, okay, sorry. You can see these things you're seeing here. These are, uh, these are actually a discovery ad. We searched for toothpaste, and you can see this. Uh, this is an advertisement consigning different kinds of toothpaste. Let's open it so you can see what I'm saying. This this particular 
YouTube ad, this particular type of YouTube ad is always longer. It can be up to three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, even 15 minutes, even 20 minutes. At times, this is the kind of ad people use mainly for organic traffic. Discovery um, YouTube ad. Now, you can see this one because it's just toothpaste. That is why it's three minutes. At times, you see some of them 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 minutes. So anybody that search for toothpaste, your video will be among the ones that will come up because it is actually a discovery ad. Now, the, 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 the other one is the one called the in-video in overlay ad and the outstream ad. Those two ones, we won't get to touch it because you don't actually need it as an athlete. Those ones is if you're promoting, let's say, a real estate, um, um, if you're running ads for real estate or e-commerce, those are the ones you can actually use. But for the digital products, these, are, these two now are the best. So all you need to do is, we can go, we go to um, the non-skip. You click on continue. If you don't want to use the non-skip, um, skippable ad, you can use this cost, um, custom, this one, this very first one. This very first one, this one. You click on continue. Now, all you need to do is just name your um, ad. Sorry. You name your ad, you give it a name. Let's say, um, let's give this ad, um, this is Amazon KDP, something different. <laughs> Amazon KDP one, then um, can you? Okay, now you go to your total. Um, you put it on daily. Then on this particular um, YouTube ad, I would advise you. You might want to start with just five dollars to see how it goes. So just click on five dollars, and once you click on five dollars you proceed, don't, don't put an end date, don't put an end date, just leave the um, the start date the way it is. Trying to, okay. Then all countries, okay, first of all, you go to network, video display ad, you leave it because it is an in-stream ad. You, 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 I don't advise you to target all countries and territories, just target Nigeria. But before this thing, you must have made research of people who actually buy your product. You must have made research, whether it's Southeast, whether it's South, South, depending on people who buy your product. But let's use Nigeria for now. Then you is on English, you leave it on English. You proceed. Now you have to create an ad group. You have to create an ad group. So we have to name this ad group. Let's name it. Um, Amazon KDP 1-1. Then you go to your demo uh, demography. I don't advise people to, to choose 18 to 65 years. This is just you spending your budget. This is just you wasting your budget. So I've noticed that from my experience I've had with athlete products, people who buy athlete products as students and it's between the age group of 18 to 34 years. You see this 35, you see this, you untick this 45, you tick untick 55, you untick this one. And this is why you should make 
make your uh, um research like you make your market uh, market research very very well like you're targeting and everything before you start setting up these things so that you won't go and waste your budget so once your audience segment okay i'll come to that now there are there are three types of targeting there are three types of tag sorry there are four types of targeting we have audience segments we have keywords we have topics and we have placement i repeat we have uh, uh, um, audience segments we have keyword we have topics and we have placement now this audience segment let's say um if you're promoting a product on digital product the audience segment is simply the best and the easiest to use for your targeting the audience segment is simply the best and the easiest to use for your targeting let's say since we are promoting amazon kdp that means our product falls in line with advertisements and marketing services but under this advertisement and marketing services you can see sales and marketing you tick it you tick email web this so people who search things like this are people who are likely to buy your digital product so let's So affiliate software, these people buy a lot. Affiliate marketing program, these people buy a lot. Affiliate website, they buy a lot. Amazon affiliate program services, they buy. These people buy. So just keep in track of all these affiliate links. Clickbank. Can see it. So marketing business information don't choose how to make money on youtube so that you won't waste your budget this is a very broad topic how to make money and this is the mistake people do do you want to narrow your targeting very very well so that because almost everybody go to youtube to search out to everybody everybody go if i when i say youtube just know that is google almost everybody go to google to say how to make money on how do i make money so it's actually a broad topic so the secret is that you don't want to just target people who are just randomly looking for how to make money so that you won't just get people anyhow people in your inbox because if you target anyhow people in your inbox your 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 list will be very very weak and you will be complaining that people are not buying from you because you're not targeting the right people so you need to target people who are narrowed and these people i just speak pit now You can use this one, reach more people, but I don't actually use this particular, I don't stick this thing. Because if you're using a low budget, $5 is very, very small, I won't lie to you. $5 is very, very small. But why I'm using $5 is because, okay, I'm going to come to that one. So people do mistake of using audience segments at the same time with keyword, with topics and placement. And this is very, very wrong. This is very, very wrong. Let me, it's not advisable for you to use audience segments at the same time, use keyword at the same time, use topic at the same time, and use placement at the same time. It is not advisable. What is advisable is, let's say you have $100 to spend daily on your ad. If you have $100 to spend daily on your ad, all you need to do is break down $100 to $20, $20. Create a different campaign for each of them, Create a different campaign for um, the audience segment. Place your stuff on $20. Create another campaign for a uh, um, keyword. Place $20 for that. Create another campaign, a different campaign for any topic. Place $20 there and create another uh, campaign for any placement. Um, place $20 there. Why are you doing this? So that you will know the particular one that is bringing in leads for you, quality leads. 
So people, I see a lot of people, they go and combine everything together and you won't actually see results. You end up wasting money. So when you spend $20, $20 in each of these campaign, you will now find out that, oh, audience segment is working, is generating um, more leads than, um, or your placement is generating more leads than topic. All you need to do is now pause your keyword or delete your campaign for the keyword and topics and now spend more money on audience um, segment or spend more money on placement. That means you can now convert all those money you're spending on each of the ads and now spend it in one particular targeting of, of your ad. So now that we have choose um, So if you take a look at this, our, let me show you guys something. On this, on this audience segment, if you take a look at it, we have about 50 million plus. And it is not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be so like it is, it is too, too much. So we will we, we have to go here and still narrow this thing very well. We still have to narrow it very well. Like we have to narrow narrow it very very well. But I'm I'm not here to teach um your research concerning the product you want to promote. Let's say you want to promote Amazon KDP. What you need to do is go to your YouTube. Go to YouTube and let me show you something. Um, Cassie. Hello, Cassie. You, Can you, you hear me? Muted. Yeah, you, you muted yourself. Ah. Oh, I, can, no. I can hear you now. Can you speak again? Yes, I, I, I can you hear me now? Yeah, loud and clear, yeah. Okay. So, as I've choose this, um, audience segment, I'm not going to choose keyword topics or placement. I will now proceed. So this, you, you, you must have made a video already. You must have kept your video, um, uh, your, your video, your video might be, your video should be at least just let's say 30 seconds or 50 seconds um, stuff. It shouldn't be more than, um, 
it shouldn't be up to a minute. That is my advice. It shouldn't be up to a minute if 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 it's up to a minute because you know that people you're showing your video are people who are, who came online to do something. I don't know if you're following me. People who, who let, let's say I, I log into my YouTube and I want to watch a movie on my YouTube and all of a sudden I meet your ad and I'm expecting your ad to convert me or to do everything in less than 30 seconds, if possible. In short, the shorter it is, the more effective it is, just like what TikTok is doing. The shorter it is, the more effective it is. So if you, you can, if you can create a video of like, let's say 15 seconds is even okay, 15 to 20 seconds, 30 seconds might be too, too big. So let me, let me walk you guys through. So you must have made your video, um, your video can be, um, you must have created your video, your video can be, if you wish to know how to make, if you make 3 million Naira monthly, skip this video. And this, this, this is actually a, a hook I use. Although people do say, like, people don't get to believe it because how many people actually make up to 3 million Naira in a month? But you, out of, out, out of inquisitive, you, you, you're, you're too inquisitive and you want to know actually, um, how do this guy actually make 3 million Naira? And it's because I do it. That is why I'm actually using it. So if you're not actually doing it, you don't need to use that particular hook. You can use a hook like, let's say, um, um, it can be if if you're living, I'll get the script containing the um the ads. But for now, let's just move through. So for here, you can choose um your maximum cost per view should be zero point zero six. Let's use zero point zero six. Then click on create campaign. But before you create a YouTube, before you before you create a YouTube ad, before you create a YouTube ad, you must have a channel. Channel as things like this. This is a channel. This is a channel. This this you can see subscribe. This is a channel. This guy, this this is his own channel. Let me show you my own. So this is my channel. You can see my channel now. So let's say you want to target all the videos I have on this, my particular stuff. All you need to do is just copy my, my channel, my channel link and come and paste it here on your ad. Come and paste it here on your ad. But before then, you must have uploaded a video, a short content on your channel. Whichever channel you have, I have about four of them. You understand? I'm just showing you one of them. So you must have uploaded the video, and all you need to do is just copy a link. Let me let me just let me do something. Let's use a short video content so you can see. So it's five minutes, three minutes. Sorry for that.
I'm looking for a short video. Let's say just 0. 0. or just a minute video. So, but the the, the thing the there is just copy any video link and come and paste here. Once you've done that, scroll below. The next one is you want to create another ad, your, your ad group. You must have copied another one. Is because it's because we didn't impute any video here. That is why it is saying it is showing this thing and because it is an in-stream ad, I don't advise you to place a video of up to a minute. So I don't know, we have to look for a video of let's say 0 0.30 seconds or 0 0.20. Once you've placed it, click on create, create your campaign. And once you've created your campaign, your ad goes live. Now, another thing you might have issues is actually the bidding. The bidding, I don't advise you to use maxim, mag, maximum CPV. You should actually change this maximum CPV to manual CPV. So all you need to do once you've set up your ad, once you're done setting up your ad, you need to do is go go to your phone, your your phone, go and download download um download ad. Google uh, download this particular app. Once you download this particular app, sign up your um, Gmail, the Gmail you used to in running that particular ad on this stuff. There, once you once you sign up, all you need to do now is now go to, you see a setting where you can easily change it from maximize CPV to manual CPV. Why am I saying you should change it to manual CPV? This, mag, this, this particular um, bidding, which is this particular bidding, which is ma 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 maximize CPV. If you use this particular bidding for an account that is still fresh or that is still new, what it equally means is that Google will be the one um, spending your budget. You won't be in charge of your, your, your spend. And if you're spending, let's say, 5 to $20, in three hours, that money can get exhausted. That money can get exhausted. So for an ad that you don't know that whether it, 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 is, it, it has started performing, it's better you leave it on manual CPV, where you can be in charge of it. You see how the team grows. Whether the team is going well, if the team is not going well, you got, you got to change the targeting. But you must start with manual CPV before you go to maximize CPV. Currently, you can navigate all these things here on your laptop, but they don't give you a chance to do it any longer. So your ad have gone live. Once your ad have gone live, you can now go and set it up. But when you're setting it, you only be seeing maximize CPV. Maximize CPV. This is what you'll be seeing. And why are they recommending this? They want to make huge amount of money from you. So this is the highest, highest um, set of bidding because they will not be the one charging you. You won't be in charge of, you won't be in charge of your, uh, um, your, your cost per view. Let's say, for example, if I'm using this to maximize CPV and I'm using 0 0.06, this 0 0.06 is actually useless if I'm using a maxim, maximum CPV because it is, I'm, I'm, if I'm using maximum CPV, I'm currently telling Google that they should spend, depending on how many, how, how many people who watch my, my video, I'm no longer in charge of my own spend. But if I'm using manual CPV, if, if I'm using manual CPV, if I put 0 0.06, that means for each and every person that come and watch my video, we actually, what, what Google will charge me is just 0 0.06. Zero six. Once you're done with that, click on create campaign. Now, 
like I said, let's go to um another another one which is um keyword keyword. Now this keyword simply means what do people actually uh, um, search online? What are the what are the uh, um content people always go to search online? We remember we are promoting a product on Amazon KDP, and this Amazon KDP, there are products people there are, there, are, there are keywords people go to search online. What are those keywords you think people go to search online? Let me let me let me just. So example of those keywords, so how to make your research is, all you need to do is just, um, just type Amazon KDP, or let's say Amazon Kendo. Publishing. Okay. Uh, okay. If you're actually seeing this thing, all these things are, are people's ad. All, the, all, the, all these things are people's ad. Please. Anything you see like ad or sponsored, all these things are people's ad. Don't go and start clicking it. Once you start clicking it, you're spending people's money. So our advice is don't go and start clicking it. Now you said we typed about Amazon KDP. You can see what it is showing us. People also ask how much does it cost to publish one on Kendo? All you need to do is just copy it. Come and put here. Remove this stuff. You can see this one. These are what people always search. And this is how you can get your keyword if you want to use keyword for your targeting. Yes. At least try and get uh, uh, 20, 30, 30 to 50. 30 to 50 keywords. How much? You just copy. Just the same. Just, this is what you should do. So in order not to waste time, let's just let's just continue with this. So but at least you 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 must have copied at least 30 to 50 and place it somewhere. So it will be easy for you. You can see it. You, you people also ask, it's showing you people also ask. These are what people ask. Do you get paid monthly from KDP? Can you make money with KDP with low content book? These are things, these are keywords people go to search. And these are keywords you should impute on your ad if you want it to go effectively well. Is Kendo Publishing still profitable in 2022? Is selling books on Kendo profitable? Do Kendo authors know who buys their book? How much can an author make on their first book? Do self? These are keywords people go to search. And these keywords are very powerful. So with this, you can see lots of them. People also ask, it will give you a clue. Even these ones are keywords you can use. Now, once you've imputed uh, um, your keyword, once you've imputed your keyword, you I, 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 I don't advise you to use your website related um, stuff on your website because what they normally do on website is they check the, on website, if you use your website, they check the, the, the keywords that, the, the words that, 
that, that appear more. And those are the ones they will be showing you here. And it will give you the best targeting because you're looking for the best targeting here. You're looking for the best targeting. So once you choose your keyword, the same thing, your uh, video to the back of the link of that your video and come and paste here. Once you paste it here, it this this here it, the video is going to load here. Definitely, it's going to load here. Let me. So I just want to copy any 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 link now, any link. So you can see what I mean. So you click on this search for you paste it here. Oh sorry. Let's look for a better one. This one I think is just Let's use any of this um, cartoon. You come here and paste it. <clears throat> you can see it. You, you, see, you see what happened? So this particular video I placed here is actually 12 minutes, 22 seconds, and it's, it is too big. If you're actually running an um, skippable in-stream ad, Please don't use a video as, as 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 long as this. You don't use a video as long as this. I don't advise you because um, you won't see you would not. I, I can't just come to do something on, on, on YouTube. I'll show you a video of 12 points, a 12 minutes, 22 seconds. So once you have done that, just click on skippable in stream ad. So you can see skippable in stream ad. You, you, okay, you can see it. Video, videos longer than three minutes don't usually perform as well as shorter videos. You can you can, you can see even even they are even telling you that that the videos that are longer than three minutes don't usually perform as well as shorter videos. You can even see it. They can. They can even let you know that you are trying to mess up your ad with this 12, 12 minutes ad. And this is how your video, this is how it's, it's, you can look at by, by, by the right side of your, your of your laptop. You can see the how the video looks like. So, but let's just manage this. Since we don't have any available short video we can use. So you can see this capable in-stream ad, in-feed video ad, and this particular one. So I, I, I advise you to go for the first one. The first one, why are you going for the first one? This first one will help you to save cost. Now, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I go to YouTube to watch, let me say I, I go to YouTube to watch video. Let me play this video now. You see, this, this is actually a skippable, this is actually an ad. And this ad is 0 0.12 seconds. This ad is 0 0.12 seconds. And I just watched this ad for 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.15. This, this ad is actually 15 seconds. And I just watched it for two seconds. Now, they, they are not going to charge this person who is running this particular ad till I, I, I'm able to watch this particular video to 12 to 13 seconds. That is when they are going to charge him. You understand, or the person who is running this particular ad, because he's actually using this um this capable in stream ad. So let's say that, that that is the advantage of video ad. Let's say um this particular I'm watching, I want to watch this movie, and I see this ad, and I all, all I need to do is just skip the ad. Now they are not going to charge this person. 
Then that, that is the beauty of it. But this ad has already showed me in the face, and they didn't charge him at all. His body is still, is still there. That is the beauty of it. You understand what I'm saying? So if you go to now, your final URL should be the place you want them to actually land to learn more about the um uh, the, the the what you're actually telling them, the product you're actually telling them. Uh, already, I advise people, these are things I advise people if you're actually running uh, a, a video ad on YouTube, because it, 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 it is very, very street. I don't advise people to use free website to run ad on YouTube, um, uh, on Google, as the case may be, because one is that you won't be able to get the best conversion. Now, again, is that the the boat the, the 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 Google boat is is kind of aggressive that when they detect that because they they, they know when the the best website to use to run your ad here is a WordPress a WordPress and they go well a lot with Elemental not even Tribe Architect if you use Elemental to to design your your page they they they, they always approve. Um, landing page that are designed with Elemento. I'm just telling you from experience and because of the amount of money I've spent on Google, I always have a training session with Google ad team like twice in a month and these are secrets they always reveal to me because I could still remember I used Drive Architect to design one of my landing page and it was, it was banned. So I'm not here to teach you about website designing. I'm here to teach you about video ad. So if you look at this stuff, you can see HTTP. This one is not protected. So you should choose the one that has HTTPS, this part, the second one. So you just put your landing page. Um, let's, just, let's just pick a landing page here and just put, let me use one of my websites. Parsito.com. Casito. This is just one of my websites, casito.com. And call to action, what you actually want them to do. You call to action, you understand what we mean by call to action. It can be click here. You can you can see the option, learn more, shop now. Learn more is, let's say if you're, learn more, I advise people who are using, who are selling digital products to use learn more. For example, Amazon KDP, you should use Lemmo. Affiliate marketing products, you should use Lemmo. Use Lemmo. If you're, if you're selling, is when you're selling, let's say, um, physical products, you can use Shop Now. Shop Now. Then if you want them to just sign up to maybe whatsoever, you can use Sign Up, Buy Now, Fiscal Products, Watch Now. If you want them to watch something, Start Now, Book Now, Download. So these are Order Now, Play Now. So, But what I normally use is Lemmo. Learn more, then your, your headline should be catchy. Um, you can get idea. If you don't know how to, if you don't know headline to use, just come here, go type Amazon. Amazon can do publishing. Just go to videos. You can see people's said line. Can see. Uh, so which uh, which headline should we go with? Let's look for a catchy headline. So let's use the, 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 the headline. Your headline can be, um, it should be on sentence case. What do I mean by sentence case? Um, each, each of the word, the first letter should start with capital letter. So it can be um, make, make 
money again you don't want to, you don't want to put claims here on your headline we know that you can make 200 to 500 dollars uh, uh, in two days daily while publishing books but you don't want to call you don't want to call amount so you won't get your 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 ad banned um just like what facebook does they hate claims and if you do it here this one like immediately before your ad goes live they ban your 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 ad so don't go and say um make hundred dollars daily or weekly while publishing no it, they are going to ban your ad oh Oh, we are we actually have just fifteen space for fifteen. Make money. Um, it can be. Let's go and get idea from people's. Let's use dollar candle. Or oh, we can use dollar candle is okay. Then add uh, this one. This one is actually advanced. This one is if you have if you have a WordPress, you can now your tracking templates. I want to track your conversion and all that. The final um your this one you put your your website http just ignore this ones you don't actually need it it is telling me that i should fix issues to run ad why it is telling me is because this video is, is actually long. This video is actually, this is almost 12 minutes video. And we are running an um, skippable in-stream ad. If you want to run a video, if this particular video is supposed to be used for discovery ad, it's supposed to use for discovery video ad. So after that, you click on create campaign. So we are done for um, keyword. Then another one is, is topic. Another one is topic. Another one is topic. This topic is actually um, broad. It's actually broad. So you want to make your research. Um, who are your target audience for the topic or your, for the product you're promoting? Um, who are the target audience? For example, if I'm running an ad for people, for people who are into real estate, you can see this one is for real estate. And all that is, I, I, I don't need to choose real estate fully. Under this real estate, you can see it is, it is also broad. That's it, property development, real estate listing. You can see it's, 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 it's quite broad. So we look for one that's similar to what we are promoting. Art and entertainment, we don't currently need it. Auto vehicle. Um, business and in um, this one, we can go for um advert advertisement and marketing can go for marketing brand ma management sales these are topics i want my video to actually up appear telemarketing this one works very well this telemarketing um Aerospace and defense, you don't need it, you don't need it. Business education, let's check. No, 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 no. 
business, finance, risk management, investment banking, business corporation, operation, business services. So from my research, I'm checking the ones that works very, very well. Professional and trading. I have computer and electronics. So you, you should be very, very careful. Don't just go and add everything together. You should be very, very, you should take your time. Networking, this people buys. Programming, software. You can even still under this networking, we still have, but just choose networking. Then under we have finance, banking, <laughs> internet, just email and messaging. Search engines, web portals, web services, web apps. So you have to take your time. You see the way I'm taking my time, but I'm not actually supposed to be doing this. Like before I start this particular ad, I'm supposed to have like bring pen and paper and that's the way I do my, or bring or open my notepad and make this research. My research can take two to three days. I like I I I take I take time. I I'm, I don't rush my research. So it's not something. It's just because we are just having and we we don't have much time. So that is why I'm just doing it like this. But if you want to run, like you have to take your time. Take your time. Like don't rush it. So um, reference science. Check reference. Humanity. So once you're done with everything, okay, you can see what I'm saying. I'm telling you now. It is even telling you combining multiple content targeting method can limit your campaign performance. Just like I told you, it's not advisable for you to use placement, use topics use um, audience segments and use keyword. And why they are telling me this is because I've already choose audience segments and I've choose, you can see my audience segment is still there. I've choose keyword and I've choose topic now. So they are already telling me that it is going to limit my campaign. So you don't, you don't, you don't run video ad. Like I see a lot of people, they run their video ad and they keep on shouting that it is not going well. It is because of things like this. So either you choose placement or you choose topics or you choose keyword or you choose audience segment. So once you're done, just come here, the same thing you did, do the same thing. Then you can see the preview of how our ad looks like. Can pre you, you, can, you can get a banner. If you're not good at, if, 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 you're, if you're not good, you can see how my ad, you can see, look, you can see how the preview of how my ad looks like. You, you can get a banner, what is it called? A graphic designer who can get, get for you a banner. So you can place a banner here, an overlay banner that will also help your ad to get more, more uh, uh, to get a cost per view at a very lower price. Because when you place a banner here and the banner should, I think they have some, they have some um, rules for the banner and the quality of the banner. So let me check other people's own.
Sorry, guys, I'm coming. I want to. I just want to show you the kind of banner, what I mean. I'm definitely going to see an ad here, confirm. Okay. Let me check. Oh, this one doesn't have a this one doesn't have a banner. Let me check. I don't know. Sorry, I'm looking for the one that has a banner. I want I, I want to show you what I mean. Okay, yes, this particular video, this thing is an ad. This thing that you're seeing here, this 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 thing that you're seeing here now is called, <clears throat> this thing that you're seeing here is called in video overlay ad banner. This particular thing you can see here, this is currently an ad. This this thing you're seeing like this is an ad. But this one for, for people who are selling digital products, I don't ad advise them because this is more of just awareness. This is just for people, companies that have grown, let's say Jumia and all that. I don't advise them to use this particular ad. So I'll just close it. I don't know, let's just move on. But there is um placing banner at the below of your ad. We help your ad a lot. So once you're done, just follow the same thing. And once, once you're done, click on create campaign and your campaign will be created. So another targeting we have is um, placement. Placement, placement on, on the placement ad, we have YouTube channels, we have YouTube videos, we have video lineups, we have websites, we have apps, we have app categories. Currently, the ones I've tried is YouTube channels, YouTube videos, and website placements. These are the placements I've actually tried. And from all the um, placements I've tried, the one I've seen very, very profitable that's worked for me is actually websites. After websites is YouTube channel. You know what they mean by YouTube channel? Let's say, example, this YouTube channel now. Let's say I want to target um, rhinos. You know, when you target a channel, that means you're targeting the whole video in that person's, let's say example, rhino. Rhino is one of the uh, most influential person. Let's say, let's check, check for rhino. Now this is rhino, this is rhino, and this is rhino's channel. So all I need to do, to target, to target Rhino's videos, all I need to do is just copy. I just came here. Okay, sorry. Just come here, copy the link address. I'll just copy copy it. Add one placement. It will be here. That 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 means if I if I if I run an ad here, all my videos will be showing on Rhinos. This.
Let's take another person. Uh, let's take for us a brushing. Can see the kind of kind of views she has. This video was uploaded twelve days ago, and you already have eleven thousand views. And you can see people running ads in this video, how to make money, like ways to make money. So if I want to target my my ad on all these videos that are here, all I need to do is just go and copy. So once of once of choose your um for your for your placements, you have to go for your website for your website. So I don't know if you have a pen and paper. Your website you can target, and your ad will be showing everywhere on Google because Google is very very broad. Your website you can target, and your ad will be showing everywhere on Google. Let me. So you can choose website like, let me, there are some places I wrote down the websites. Let me check out for it. Please hold on, let me, let me check out for the website.
I'm trying to get the um the place I wrote down the website I used. So website like legitinfo.com.ng is very, very effective. So if you have your pen and paper, you can write down this website I'm about to call down now. So, so website like legitinfo.com.ng, website like Bet Niger, um, website like youtube.com, um, website like google.com, website like um, um, this one is um, website like
Alô, Cassi. Alô, Cassi. Cassi, can you hear me? Cassi, can you hear me? Ah, uh, we cannot hear you again. Uh. No, no, no. Your your other phone is not your other phone is not open. My head, my head so now. Let me let me try and recall it. Okay, with your other phone. With your phone, sorry. Uh, uh. Cassie, can you unmute yourself now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. I think your network went off. Your can you hear me? My network yes, is kind yes, of yes, bad. Yes, can, you. can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. <laughs> okay, okay. So you've been you've been you've been you've been away for a long time, okay. So like I said. You shouldn't, you shouldn't target, you shouldn't use all this targeting at once. You should create a different campaign for it if you're going to test all of them. But from, from what I've learned from, uh, um, from ads I've set up a lot, this audience segment works perfectly fine. And these keywords works perfectly fine. Again, it's placement, it works very, very well. So once you're done, you put the link of the um, video you want to run. If, if, it's, if it's actually a discovery ad you want to, video ad you want to run, that means I will advise you to choose to run it with keyword. I will advise you to go for keyword. Don't use audience segments. Go for keyword targeting if it's discovery ad you want to run. Discovery ad are like, let me, let me show you what I mean by discovery ad. You go now and type what what is affiliate marketing. You definitely see a lot of people's video. Okay. Let's say, what is affiliate marketing? Or let me use affiliate marketing in Nigeria.
you can you can see people's ad like these are people's ads showing all these things are affiliate marketing you can see it these are discovery ad these are this these are discovery ad but most of them are not actually a paid ad most of them are not actually a paid ad they are just leveraging using um organic traffic and using keywords they know that people always go and search so for example affiliate marketing in nigeria is one of the keywords this particular keyword i just impute now affiliate marketing in nigeria these are keywords people go a lot to search on youtube if i say youtube doesn't at this google these are keywords people and when you use this kind of keyword on your ad definitely once anyone anybody search for this particular stuff your video will get among the first five video or the first three video that is going to show. So you can see this one written. Uh, this one is sponsored. Uh, this one is sponsored. Uh, this one is sponsored. Uh, this this one is particular a uh, uh, organic 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 ad, like organic traffic is not actually a sponsored ad. So once you have choose. Well, once you've copied the link of the video, you, your video and put here, all you need to do is, if you're actually using uh, a non-skippable, uh, let's say you want to use, um, um, what is it called? You want to use um, you want to use a discovery video ad. Here is where you're going to place it. Here, just come here, copy the link of that discovery um, video ad you want to use. Let's say 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Come and place it here. If it's actually a is a a, a, a a um skippable ad, in stream skippable ad. That means you should use the other one I just showed you. You should use the other one I just showed you. So once you're done there, come here and put your bidding. Your bidding can be ranging from um, 0 0.06 to 0 0.08, 0 0.06 to 0 0.808. So once you're done with that, So like, like, like I said before, the best, the best um, sequence to use is go for, go for video, go for video or go for create campaign without a go guidance, create campaign without a go guidance, move to video, from video, you choose custom video ad or you choose non-skippable, um, uh, um, non skippable in stream in stream you click on continue just the same way we did and you create your ad group so uh, I, I don't know if anyone can hear me can anyone hear me can anyone hear me Okay, now for for the, for the, for the billing address, there, there, there is there is something um, that do happen on um, billing address. Let me. So for, for, for your billing address, it's advisable that you come to here written, uh, um, sorry, not here written search. Tools are marketing. Now, there's, there's, there's something that always happens when it comes to, um, um, what is it called? Payment gateway for billing address. 
here. So it's advisable that in the card, because you're paying in dollar here, the card, your payment method should not be on, should not be on automatic, it should be on manual. Let me. Network is fine. So it should be on manual. You can see my own is on manual. It should be on manual. You shouldn't put it on automatic. You'll be given an option to choose automatic payments or manual payments. Leave it on manual payments. And you you, you know the Naira cards, the Naira cards that we have has just a limitation of um $20, I think some has $15, some have $10. So it's advisable that if you can get a dollar card, get a dollar card to make the work easy for you. Get a dollar card. If you don't, if, if you cannot get a dollar card, I don't advise you to use, uh, these days they ban um, the virtual dollar card a lot. They ban, I don't understand, like they ban the virtual dollar card. One of my ad accounts was banned day before yesterday because I used a, 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 a virtual dollar card. What I mean by a virtual dollar card, all these payday, cheaper cash, um, WEMA, all those things are actually a virtual dollar card. You understand? So be very, very careful if you're actually using it because they ban any other accounts that use uses that particular virtual um card a lot i don't can you hear me please yes i can hear you okay so um if you're if, if you're imputing your your because another where issue always comes in in go is that their payment stuff is not always smooth so if you're putting if, if you want to make payments on your Google ad account, make sure that the address you're using on, on the card is what you're going to impute. Forget about the address you have anywhere. Make sure that it is the address on that card. For, an, for, for example, if I'm using my GT dollar card to make payments, the address I'm going to put on that billing, and, billing address is the address on that my GT, GT card. That is the address I'm going to put. If you put any address apart from that address, they are going to ban your ad account immediately. And this thing has, has cost a lot of people their ad account. And once they start banning your ad account, once they ban your ad account, one, ban it two, just know that that Gmail is useless. And once they ban it for the third time, it, it now affects the IP address of any gadget you're using to set up that particular ad. That means you have to get a new... A uh, 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 gadget, you have to open another new email, you have to get a new card, you have to get a new domain name and new everything, you have to change it so that it won't affect it. Uh, um, uh, Cassie, Cassie, I, I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Sorry, I wanted to ask a question. If, huh? if had, so can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. The card for the ads. Yeah. What 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 card can can one use? Is it is it the Mastercard or the dollar card? That's what I'm saying. Get a dollar card. Get a dollar card. Like okay, okay, okay. I get day it, I get before it. yesterday, one of my ad accounts was banned, and it was because I was using a virtual dollar card. So I contacted their team and they were like, they don't accept a virtual dollar card any longer. So if you're actually using it, you are, there's a probability that you get your ad account banned. I right, thank you. Thank you, I, I guess. Okay, okay. So if you have any questions, can let me know.
okay, if you want to get a dollar card, you have to walk to your bank. Um, currently, I'm using GT, Guarantee Trust Bank. It, it, it is always um, friendly. You can get their dollar card. I think access also give. You understand? You get the dollar card and you start, you start using it. If you're going to use a Naira card, Naira card has just a limitation of $20 monthly. I think some even some Zenet are like $10. And there's nothing $10 can do for you if you want to run ads on, on Google. $10 is useless. Kasi, we can't hear you again. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I said I'm, I'm taking questions. Okay, okay. All right, so if you have, guys, okay. if you have questions, just send it to the chat box. Kasi okay, he said... And then respond. Okay, he said, what, what is the minimum budget one should use? Uh, you can start with as low as $5. You understand? You, you want to start low and see how it goes, but... The best budget I advise is starting with $20. It is $20 that you'll be able to like know exactly uh, um, how bad your ad is going or how good your ad is going. $5 is very, very, is very, very small. Yes, $20 per day for a start. Uh, for any dollar card you want to use, let's say I want to use my GT dollar card, the address I should add on the billing payment should be the address on that my GT dollar card. That is the address I should use. Um, for the dollar card, if you can get it from black markets now, pay into the bank to be easy for you. Or if you have someone that can always send you phone to the, um, the, the, the dollar account and you now send the person Naira. The $20, you, you place your, your, your spending on daily budget. Now I'm talking about $20 daily for a start. Yes, you can use a landing page to run your ad. Yes, you can run your ad directly to WhatsApp instead of landing page. But the, 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 I don't advise it because you, you, want to, you want to qualify people you're getting. If you run it directly to your WhatsApp, you might not, because on your ad, one thing with video ad is that it doesn't give you time to explain everything you want to, you want to talk about of your product. So if you're directing them to your WhatsApp, you, you have a lot of work to do. But if you're directing them to your landing page, if 100 persons land on your landing page, the 50 persons who are more interested, before they go through those process of your opt-in page and everything and coming to your WhatsApp, you will now get quality people who are willing to pay what you're selling than someone who is using it to that, that someone that is directing all of them to your to their WhatsApp directly is not advisable. So I advise that you, you use a landing page or website as the case may be.
Are you there? Can you can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go on. Okay. But I I I question. And for you to get a dollar card, you have to have a domiciliary account. You have to open one. Then you now request for a dollar card. Uh, what I mean by landing page is landing page is the same thing as website. Inside your website, let's say inside your website, at the back end of your website, you see where they say pages and posts. Website can contain a hundred pages. Those pages that you're creating for different affiliate products is what we call landing page. Like in one of in one website, I can have one website. Let's say my website can be Castell, and I can create so many landing pages for different products. So that is the advantage, you understand? So a website can carry hundred to one fifty landing pages. So I can, if I'm promoting e-commerce products, freelancing, Amazon KDP, affiliate products. Let's say uh, uh, um, 72 IG course or SEDP. All I need to do is create a different landing pages for these different products. And whichever one I want to advertise, I can now copy that particular landing page link and now use it. And that is what I'm saying. It's not advised. These days, they ban ad account that use the prepaid dollar card. All these prepaid virtual dollar card, they do ban it. But you might want to try. I'm just telling you what you should avoid so that you won't get your ad account banned. Um, you can check me on Twitter, Jacob Tassimobi. Okay, I think I think the video is being recorded though. Like I believe the video is being recorded. So um they might want to um send it on your email. Yes, of course you can. But the, if you if you want to for if your other account is still fresh and you want to start getting results, I advise you should go for video ad. Go for video ad, it is very, very uh, um, productive and you get lots of quality leads because video converts a lot. Jacob Cassie movie. Platform that are good for ad. We have LinkedIn, we have Instagram. These days, if, if you're running, if you're running your ad on business dot Facebook dot com, I advise that you just target only Instagram. Which, um, someone said Google said there is a malicious software on my website. Any idea? Why is the um stuff you're using to de to design your landing page? Are you are you using Tribe Architect? If you're using Elementor, you're not supposed to be getting that. Just check the check the plugins, check the plugins and disable some plugins, and allow only Elementor and the other plugins you might use to 
um, set up your conversion and every other thing to be active. So disable all the plugins and run your ad again. You get your keywords by making your research. I used Amazon KDP. Let's say you're promoting an Amazon KDP now. All you need to do, go to Google search, type Amazon KDP. Let me show you something. If you type Amazon, you just scroll down. You see people also ask, these are keywords you should use. How much does it cost to publish on Kendo? Is Amazon Kendo publishing worth it? How much do authors get paid on Amazon Kendo? Is publishing on Kendo free? These are questions. These are keywords people go to um, Google to search. So you can, you can get more of it by... You can see you can see these are related keywords people do search. Can I make money self publishing on Amazon? What sells the most on Ken? Cassie, can I hear you again? Yeah, I, I can hear you. I said I'm done. I'm done taking you. Sorry? 
What did you say? Hello, Cassie. Yeah, the class, the class is related. Cassie, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, network. Uh, network. Sorry. I, can, I can hear you now, yeah. I said I'm, I'm, I'm done taking the questions. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so that means we can, can end the class now, bro. Are you done with the entire thing? Yes. 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 All right, that's fine. Okay, so thank you so much. So guys, so thank you for coming. Uh, you can follow Cassie. Follow Cassie at, on Twitter at... Uh, Cassie, what do you have to do? Jacob Cassie Moby. You can follow Cassie on Twitter at Jacob Cassie Moby. You can follow me on Twitter at Emmanuel Adiosu. You can follow the Espanya Andrew at Espanya. And I can follow the motor show at Tony on motor show. So, guys, so thank you so much for giving out your time to participate in this class. So, the class is actually being recorded. So, which means if you would like to listen to it again, you will just uh, wait for, sorry, for 24 hours. The link to the recording to be sent to your email. And uh, so next week, we're going to be coming up here again. We're going to be having another class, most likely on Facebook card. So I hope that uh, uh, most of you will show up again. So thank you guys. Thank you so much, Cassie, for making it a way, very wonderful evening for us. Thank you guys. So if you really enjoyed this class, you can go on Twitter and tweet about the class. Tell us what you learned from the class. And maybe if you have an idea of a topic that you want us to discuss next week, you can also feed that. You can also, you can also about it. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Sorry, good night, sorry.